in the case, two ultimately be charged with murder. But just what are the missing pieces of the puzzle in this case that hide just what role each suspect may have had? Local attorney Rick Alexander, a former prosecutor, has plenty of experience in capital and sex crimes cases back here on The Morning Show. Morning Good to have you here. It is incumbent upon the police to do a number of things right now to preserve the integrity of this case, the evidence in this case, and to help prosecutors better do their job. What exactly is it they need to do? One of the things they need to do is something that may be a little counterintuitive, and that is hunt out and search down and close out any loose ends that might exist, any kind of suggestion or uh, lead that they got uh, that somebody else did this. Um, loose ends is where good criminal defense lawyers uh, make a living. It would seem to me, and, and, and open the door to appeal, it would seem to me that that would be standard operating procedure, but history tells us that's not always the case. Well. And, I, and the reason I call it counterintuitive is sometimes, and, and what makes a great police detective, their instinct, they've got a sense about something, um, and then they can laser in on a suspect because they, ha they just they have good, good nose for it. Sometimes uh, that doesn't help us on the, on the prosecuting end. They're like, well, you zeroed in on my client. You didn't look at, at, at these other uh, possibilities. How do we know that guy didn't call, do it? All right, Adam was talking about the possibility of new charges being filed against the four people who are being held at this hour. I presume they would be felony murder charges here in Florida because you don't have to have an intent to kill. That's right. A felony murder charge is if you are engaged in a felony and someone is killed, then you can be charged with murder, and it's called felony murder. Um, and what I'm hearing from, you know, the facts that we're getting uh, through, through the releases, uh, they they may have been engaged in a felony, the four of them. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how you would get all of them in. I, I don't know. Apparently, there, there looks like there's some abuse going on and obviously some potential cover-up by, the, by the, f the rest of them. And, and you're basing that upon the fact that they gave what appear to be erroneous clues to police, sent them on a, what, what police have called a wild goose chase yes. in, in searching for his body. That brings me to the next logical question. Charged with felony murder, could it become a capital case? It's my understanding that the Supreme Court basically has two litmus tests to decide whether or not in Florida a felony murder case can result in the death penalty. Yes. Now, this, the person that can be charged with a capital offense is the one that killed the child. And, you know, I could, I could easily see uh, there be multiple people involved in this. Right. Um, so we just don't know, but... But I could definitely see this being a capital And case. it's those loose ends that you started talking off, uh, uh, started this discussion about, that could ultimately provide the materials that prosecutors need to make this a capital case. Yes. Rick Alexander, thanks for your insights. Appreciate it. You can find much more about the Barrios case, including a complete uh, timeline on our web channel, newsforjacks.com. You'll find the story on the site's front page. Meantime, we've got two other breaking news stories happening on the high seas just off Florida's coast. Casey's got that in the rest of the day's news. Morning, Casey.